Hey guys, welcome to Mr. King's Chemistry. Today we are going to talk about reversible reaction. Alright, example given with this equation. Alright, so this symbol is very important. Alright, so basically, this symbol basically representing the reversible reaction. So, which means the reaction it can be forward reaction or backward reaction. Okay, so remember, okay, from left to right, okay, the reaction from left to right it is called forward reaction. Okay? from right to left it is what we call backward reaction it is called reversible reaction because the reactants it will undergo forward reaction to form products or the products can undergo backward reaction to form back the reactant that's why we call it reversible reaction and it is represented by this symbol right so this is what we call reversible reaction. And also there's one more thing you need to know. Always remember on the left hand side, this is what we call reactants. Those that right hand side, this is what we call products. Okay, and then also there's one more thing you need to know for this chapter, you need to know what is Equilibrium. Hmm. So, what is equilibrium? Equilibrium means when the rate of forward reaction is the same as the rate of backward reaction. Right, so which means there will be no difference in the changing of the rate or it also means when there is no changes in the concentration of reactants and product right so basically this is the Definition for equilibrium rate of forward reaction is the same as the rate of backward reaction, and also there is no changes in the concentration of the reactants and product. Right. Moreover, there are also three more. Um, in these chapters, kept very popular in exam. There are three things that you need to keep in mind. The first one <coughs> will be temperature. Right, so basically this is the factors that will affect the equilibrium, right? <coughs> factors that affects equilibrium. First one will be temperature, second one will be pressure, third one will be concentration. Right, so for example, ah, always remember high temperature, always remember high temperature, it will always favor endothermic reaction. Important, yeah, same thing, okay? When the temperature is low, it will favors as thermic reaction. Right. 
Whereas for pressure, when the pressure increases, it will favor the side with low moles. Okay, so for example, in this case, right, for example, for this equation, right, uh, the forward reaction is exothermic, backward reaction is endothermic. So, what will happen if the temperature increases? So, in this case, you know that when you increase the temperature, it will favor endothermic reaction. So, which means when the temperature increases, uh, when the, okay, based on this equation, when the temperature increases, it will favor the endo. So, in this case, endo will be backward. So, it will favor the backward reaction. So, which means when the temperature increases, it favors the backward reaction. So, which means more reactant will be formed and the concentration of the products will decrease. Right. So, what will happen if you increase the pressure? So, in this case, see, when you increase the pressure, it will favor the side with lower number of moles. So, basically, okay, you need to first, you need to know how to calculate for the numbers of moles. Right. So, you see, left hand side, right hand side. Left hand side, the total number of moles will be, this is 1, 3. 1 plus 3, it is 4. Then, right hand side, there's only 2. So, 4 on the left, 2 on the right. So, which side has a lower number of moles? So, it is right hand side. So, which means, when the pressure increases, it will favor the side with lower numbers of moles. So, which means, when the pressure increases, it will favors backward or forward reaction. It will be forward reaction. Alright. Okay? Can? Easy, isn't it? Okay? Whereas for concentration, it will always move from high concentration to low concentration until equilibrium is achieved. That's all. Right. So far so good. So basically, these will be the three main things that you need to remember. Okay, The three main factors that will affect the equilibrium. Popular and exam. Right. Good luck. Alright. That's all for today. Thank you. Jiayu.